afternoon folks I'm glad you're here thank you very much for joining me today there was a magnitude 6.7 earthquake along the southwest Indian Ridge yeah it's probably one of the largest that I've seen in this location there was a magnitude 6.2 let's see that was um, on January 20th of this year um, but yet there was a magnitude 7.0 back in uh, 1926. I've been doing a lot of research this morning about this um, ridge, the Southwest Indian Ridge. It, it actually runs into a, another plate that's been recently discovered, which has probably got a lot to do with the um, splitting, the dividing up of Africa. And it's called the Lawando Plate. It actually goes all the way up um, to the southern part of Madagascar. Going to USGS, I want to show you the uh, Moment Tensor Ball. We got a spreading that's going on. You can see how tension um, is applied going south. First wave of the earthquake, let me try and pull this over, came from the east. This earthquake also occurred in the area of the South Atlantic Anomaly. And I'm going to bring it back down to where this earthquake occurred. And I'm going to show you a map of the South Atlantic Anomaly. And I'm going to make it bigger. So you can see here, or I'm going to try and make it bigger. Hold on. This is an area that I've talked about where the um, magnetic um, earth is losing its strength and it fries all kinds of electronics and things like that when um, satellites or whatever flies over people um, in aircraft would get extra doses of radiation and things like that so here we got on the left which would be South America and then right here in the middle now that is Africa and you they don't have the the fault lines drawn out here but down here at the bottom that's Antarctica and that's got a lot to do with the core of our earth I've talked about this before but did you know that the inner core of the earth which is as hot as the core of the Sun and keeps on rotating to help maintain the planet's magnetic field now that protects us from solar radiation and the radiation from the universe it has reversed in direction and evidently this actually happened back in 2010 and they're just now reporting it uh, there was an article on CNN about it business insider also talked about the change in the direction of the rotation and like I said in 2010 um, scientists are yet to know what triggered this backward motion evidently it originally started to uh, slow down making an earth day even longer but it's so minor you wouldn't even notice it it was just a difference of maybe a millisecond you know we often talk about if there was a disaster or a coming disaster maybe an asteroid or whatever would they tell us well they evidently been arguing about this movement of the inner core of the earth for 40 years they say such a massive object it's evidently the size of a moon or our moon uh, would actually take place over a longer period of time on the South Sandwich Islands yeah they've been increasing and um, I used to report just about all of them because it was very significant and I noticed that there was a change going on here scientists analyzing and comparing different seismographs for more than 100 earthquakes um, occurring between 1991 and last year 2023 in the South Sandwich Islands um, this is how they came up with the uh, data the proof what they're calling the backtracking 
um, was taking had actually taken place. And they don't know if it's going to go back to normal. They don't know what caused it. Um, yeah, but that's what's happening now. So in the last month, there's been 15 earthquakes in this location. We got a 5.2, a 5.6. And they're not really that deep. This one was 6.2 miles in depth. Uh, this one also, well, that's over here, right there, 6.2 miles in depth. Let me close this out. Um, a 4.5. This one was really deep. A 4.1. Let's see, another 4.5, a 5.0, 4.6. This one was real deep too, a 5.0, a 5.4, let me close that, and a 4.6, that one was real deep also, 71.8 miles in depth. So the Southwest Indian Ridge, um, it is a mid-ocean ridge located along the floor of the Southwest Indian Ocean and the Southeast Atlantic Ocean. It's what they call a divergent tectonic plate, which means that the, the two plates are moving away from each other. Now, what they originally said for the Somalia plate, let me bring this out, but they recently only discovered this other plate, the um, Laudel plate. Laudel plate is approximately centered on the island of Madagascar and includes about half of the east coast of Africa. Let me bring this up. So actually it's like a triangle and it goes all the way down here um, to the uh, bridge. And the movement of this is what's dividing up this part of um, Africa. They now know that there has been at least 44 um, reverse polarities of our magnetic field at least 44 and how they came up with that is taking uh, core samples there deep in the ocean to see which direction um, ancient lavas flowed because it locked in the magnetic directions at that time so there's been 44 magnetic pole reversals sometimes during these pole reversals um, different plates actually reversed in their rotation. There was a lot of different rotations that happened um, in this location, um, mostly going uh, clockwise. But during the polar reversals, they would go in the opposite directions. And also during the pol polar reversals, um, the spreading centers, not just here, but also um, one of the major rifts in China actually sped up and then after the reversal the spreading slowed down so i don't know if this magnitude 6.7 earthquake is part of yeah the earth <laughs> now reversing in direction um yeah first it slowed down and now it's going the opposite direction the core it's the center of the earth um i don't know if it means that our uh, magnetic field is going to reverse soon very possible I just don't know the scientists don't know this has never happened before uh, when humans were here on earth they do know that during times when our magnetic field was down yeah there was increase in radiation um, if it happened today we would probably have disruptions of our um, power and everything that runs off of power. Cancers would increase because of solar radiation, the UV light penetrating our Earth. And think about all the animals that depend on our magnetic field to find their way home or for migration. I went to look to see if there was any solar flares, large solar flares um, recently, but everything's been, um, you know, magnitude um, M's. M2.49, we got another one that's uh, 1.57, nothing X. And then I looked up about when was the last time that we had a magnetic pole reversal. It says about 
780,000 years ago, the last reversal. Um, reversals are not instantaneous. They happen over a period of hundreds to thousands of years. Though recent research indicates that at least one reversal could have taken place over a period of one year. And then they have what's called partial um, reversal, where it wants to start a reversal, but then it stops, or it's only for a short period of time. So here you can see this is the largest earthquake in the past month that they've had there along the Southwest Indian Ridge, the most recent 6.7. There was also a 4.9, a little bit farther northeast. Um, we got a 5.2, which is towards the west. These are all about six miles in depth. There was also a 5.6 and then a 4.5. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.